What's up guys, this is James from James Set Productions. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make contextual two bars, which means two bars that are going to be different depending on where your mouse is for the same hotkey. So for example, if my mouse is on the TCP right now, and when I press a hotkey, which is F1 for me, it's going to be this two bar. And when my mouse is, is on the audio item, and when I press the same hotkey, it's going to be a different item. When my mouse is on the envelope lane, and pressing the same hotkey, it's going to be another two bar. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. I just want to mention that um, the idea of doing this tutorial on contextual two bars is actually from a friend of mine from Sweden. His name is uh, Robin, and he actually has his own studio. and. I'm going to post a, a link on to his studio website. And yeah, it's a very good friend of mine. And uh, I just want to mention that. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is edit your two bars. So for example, now I want to have three two bars. One is here, here and here. So you need three two bars to be set up, which I have already. So I set it to a two bar of three, um, four and five. And after you've done that, you go to extensions, uh, contextual toolbars. So now you see this window. If I want to have a two bar popping up like under the contact of TCP, which is track control panel, which is this one, uh, track panel, which is well, track control panel is actually uh, here, the empty one. So you you want to do it here, double click and just click two bar three and click auto close, which means that when you click one of the buttons, it will automatically close that pop up uh, uh, two bar and then I want to have one on the audio item, uh, which is here. I want it to be two bar five and I want it to be auto close too. And I want another one on the envelope lane, which is on a track envelope lane here. So two bar four auto close save. So now you have set, uh, set the contextual two bars and you need to uh, set a key binding to it. You need to type contextual and you'll see uh, these ones. Exclusive toggle means like when you open that contextual toolbars, you close the other one that are open. The other like when you run this command, it will close the other contextual toolbar for you. And so when you have this one on, the other ones will not close. I hope that makes sense. So um, I have a custom action set here, which is um, make it easier. Select track and the mouse, which means I when I press that button, it will select the track for me already so that I can add a plugin by one click. So I don't have like select it by clicking it and then click the hotkey and then pop up the window and then click the plugin again. So I will show you. So you can just um, find this action in here and track it there. So now I set it to uh, F1. So now this one is uh, unselected, right? I'll press F1 and the track will be selected and a window will pop up. So there you go. I can easily uh, add a plugin right now, just like that. So now if you go, if your mouse is on here, it will pop this thing. If your mouse is on the envelope lane, yeah, you pop that, which I set it to be um, just a shape of the envelope like that is a very handy tool that I think uh, a Reaper user should know. So yeah, that's it. I hope I explained that well. I hope that is useful to your workflow. It actually helped my workflow a lot because I can just select and add stuff there really quickly. If you want more uh, Reaper tutorial, subscribe because I will uh, up, uh, I'll be uploading um, tutorial videos every now and then. And also I'll, I'll upload my productions and some music videos and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Peace.